let's integrate some of the functions. So the first question is integrate 4 minus x dx. So writing this, I can write this as nothing but 4. 4 I'm going to write as 4x to the power 0 minus x to the power 1 dx. So I can distribute this integration to both 4x, 4 and x. So this is 4x to the power 0 dx minus integration of x to the power 1 dx. So applying the power rule, you increase the power by 1 and divide by the same power. So this is 1 over 1, 4x to the power 1 over 1 minus x squared over 2. So this is finally, this is 4x minus half x squared. 4x minus half x squared. So it's always good to differentiate the answer and get back the integral. This is called the integral. So d by dx, let's differentiate the. So of course I forgot the c. That's always important. You have to put the constant of integration. So this is integration of 4x minus half x squared plus c. So as you can distribute the integration, you can also distribute this uh, a differentiation or div the derivative operator. So I'm not distributing it. So integration of 4x is 4. Sorry, differentiation of 4x is 4 minus half times drop the power down. So this is 2x to the power 1 plus 0. Differentiation of x c constant is 0. So this is 4. This 2 and 2 gets cancelled. So 4 minus x. So your answer is right. Okay, next question. This is equal to, uh, I'm going to integrate directly. So this is integration of 3x squared dx minus integration of 4x to the power 1 dx minus, sorry, plus integration of 1, 1 can be written as 1x to the power 0 dx. So this is, in integration, you in, increase the power by 1. So this is 3 over 3 plus, sorry, minus 4x squared over 2 plus 1x to the power 1 over 1, which is equal to x cubed minus 2x squared plus 1. Okay, by just looking at this, plus x, sorry, not 1, plus, plus 1, plus x, sorry. Now, just looking at this, I hope you can see the, if you differentiate this, the differentiation of 3x squared is, sorry, the differentiation of x cubed is 3x squared. Okay, the differentiation of minus 2x squared is minus 4x. And the differenti differentiation of x is 1. So that's how you can check by sight like this and check your answer. So your answer is right. Okay, the next question is uh, integrate this. So this is, I'm going to directly write the answer. This is 4 over 3, x to the power 6 over 6, plus here the power is 1. So this is x squared over 2. And this is 5x to the power 0. So plus, minus, sorry, minus 5x to the power 1 over 1, which is equal to, this is 4 over 18, so 4 over 18, so let me write 4 over 18 is 2 over 9, isn't it? 4 over 18 is 2 over 9. So this is 2 ninth x to the power 6 plus half x squared minus 5x. Okay, so let's check the answer by differentiating this plus c, of course. Did I forget the c? Yeah. Sorry, I forgot the c. Yeah, it's always good to check. Okay, don't forget the constant of integration, which is very important, plus c. Okay, so and the differentiation of c is 0. Okay, so yeah, I would write plus c, yeah? Okay, so let us differentiate it. So d by dx of this function, which is 2 ninth x to the power 6. This is a good practice for those who are learning differentiation and integration. 
it's a good practice to do both in one example so that you're good in both the skills. So differentiating the rule is you drop the power down and decrease the power by 1. So this is 2 ninth times 6x to the power 5. Okay. Plus half times drop the power down. That is 2x to the power 1. Here this is minus 5x to the power 0 plus 0. Because when you decrease this 1 by 1, you get 0. So this is... Uh, 12 ninth, okay, 12, 12 ninth is 4 thirds, divide by both by 3, so fi finally simplifying this, this is, can you see this is 2 ninth times 6 is 12 ninth, so this is nothing but 4 thirds, x to the power of 5, this 2 and 2 gets cancelled, plus x, minus 5, because this is 1. Okay, let us move on. So this is integration of this. So I'm going to distribute this x. I can divide x to both x, 2x squared and 12x. So this is, this is nothing but 2x squared over x plus 12x over x, 12x over x dx. So I'll put this in the bracket. So this is nothing but integration of this x, this x will get cancelled, one x will get cancelled here, and here x and x will get cancelled. So this is nothing but integration of 2x plus 12 dx. Okay, so I'm directly doing the integration, so this is 2x squared over 2, plus this is 12x to the power 0, so this is 12x to the power 1 over 1 plus c. So this simplifies to x squared. This is 2 and 2 gets cancelled. x squared plus 12x plus c. So let us differentiate this. This looks to be a bit tricky. So d by dx, this is my checking part, d by dx of this, which is x squared plus 12x plus c. Okay. So if you differentiate this, so this is 2x plus 12, 2x plus 12. And that's what you get, isn't it? If you, this is nothing but 2x, can you see this is 2x plus 12? And that's what you got. And, uh, and so your answer is right. Okay. Slightly difficult, so this is integration of x cubed plus 1 over x squared. So the same process, so this is integration of x cubed over x squared plus 1 over x squared dx. So this is nothing but integration of x plus x to the power negative 2 dx. So applying the power rule of integration, so this is x to the power 2 over 2, and be careful here, plus x to the power, you're adding 1, so this is negative 1, divided by the same power, which is negative 1, <coughs> plus c, <coughs> which is the constant of integration. So this is this, this is nothing but half x squared, so this minus will be, make this plus minus, so this is minus 1 over x, 1 over x plus c. Now you can check yourself if you differentiate this. So let us do that. So if you differentiate this, you should get this back. So let me differentiate d by dx of this function, which is uh, half x squared minus x to the power minus 1 plus c. Okay. So if you differentiate this, so this is half times 2x, half times 2x, you drop the power down and decrease the power by 1. So if you drop the power down, so this is minus 1 times minus, which is plus x to the power minus 2 plus 0, which is nothing but, this is x plus x to the power 1 plus x to the power minus 2, and that is what you got.
when you simplify this function, you got this x to the power 1 plus x squared. So your answer is right. Okay, I've got one more question. You can do this yourself and check it yourself. So this is a work that you can do yourself.